feel a lot better now. Cool your jets, kid. Samugi and Kirumi were both in the dining hall as well. We can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time. No, not the entire time. At one point, Sumugi went to the restroom. Oh, so you brought that up after all. It's true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. Oh? Did I hear that right? The restroom, you say? Excellent! I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now! What? Ew! Why? Did you take a firm dump? Or was it a soft one? Oh my god. Hello? Why are you assuming she was dropping a deuce in there? Spot really selection? Just go to the restroom, not the basement, you know? Also, I don't think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. You could have just disguised yourself as someone else while you were out. Disguise? No, no. I don't do disguises. I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. I get it. Sumugi can only cosplay as fictional characters. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Fair point. Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. It's so unforgivable that I break out in cospox if I even attempt it. Yeah, the cospox was pretty gross. I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. Yep. Sorry about that, Samugi. I just thought it was something to check. Understandable. Oh no, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. Aww, Samugi is so nice. She's way better than you. <laughs> well, fuck you too. <laughs> Getting back on topic, we now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. I love the spice that Miu has. So we know that Kirumi, Samugi, Miu, and Kyo can't be the culprit. Congratulations to the four of you. You can all leave now. <laughs> Facts. Huh? Can they? No, they can't. So what about the swines who went to the basement? They're all suspicious, right? Which of us went to the basement? Well, when Shuichi and I were on lookout, we saw... Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Kimiko, Angie, and Rantaro. So, seven people in total. So the culprit is among those seven? That includes you too. Excluding Rantara, one of the six people who headed to the basement. Is the mastermind of this killing game. The person who's making us endure all those terrible things. Two of six are my S tiers. So, yes, uh, so exciting. Why not torture the truth out of them? It would be the quickest method. Wait, please! No torture! My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. I'll tell you <laughs> everything! Anything! Just please don't hurt me! Please just tell us what happened. If the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? Why? Just look at her. She could definitely kill someone. You're just chaotic evil, that's all. Stop being so stupid. Culprit could easily be anyone, like Kaito. What are you talking about? There's no way I'm the culprit. Who's the culprit? Who? Gonta is gentleman. Gentlemen not hurt people. It's not me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. That's such a Hibiko excuse, though. I have an alibi. A two as your alibi. For fuck's sake. We need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. It's all right, Kaede. We just need to listen to everyone's statements. What? You can do this, right? 
Okay, is this the the mass panic thingy madoodle that I saw in the freaking list? Listen to everyone's statements. That's right. I can pick out everyone's voices as they talk to me. Oh my god! What? That makes sense because she's musically inclined, but that makes me so boned. No. That's such a good thing for her. But oh god. I only went because I was invited. Why don't you ask the shady guy who invited me? What? You mean me? <laughs> I just said it wasn't me. Don't thrust the blame onto me. You degenerate males and your thrusting. Ugh. What the You're hell? Not a bad girl, really. If you don't believe me, ask my mommy. Really? I have an alibi. I am not the culprit. culprit too. Ah! Oh no. All three people were talking at once. Everyone's clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic in the courtroom. Oh, right. It's time. You will now be thrown into a mass panic debate! During a mass panic debate, three debates will happen within the same time! No way! Remain calm, though. I can't, though. It's just like a non-stop debate. You are hearing three... You're hearing triple the opinions. Simple, right? Aim the conversation. Aim at the conversation you really want to hear and concentrate to the er, to listen more closely. Soar through everyone's opinion and find the, find the lie or a contradiction and refute it. You can use V counter if you're confident, so give it a shot. I'm sorry for taking your time. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Punching's permitted in Aikido? Remember, Red Taro is the only one left in the middle of that person. Robot like Kibo? I did not! I did not! Wait a minute, Kaito. Wasn't there someone else who disappeared other than Rantaro? I did not just boom. <laughs> that idiot already forgot. Gonta also left during the strategy meeting. Yeah, he locked himself up in the AV room and. Hey, wait a sec, idiot! Is that right, Gonta? Y yes, Gonta watched Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight, so Gonta can fight Monokuma. Were you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? Oh, come on! How is looking at bugs supposed to put you in a fighting mood? A ah, terrible idea. Like putting ketchup on a hot dog. But why did you lock the door? Because going to need focus. Hmm? Everyone suspect Gonta? Why? Because you don't have an alibi. Oh, Gonta just need alibi? Okay, Gonta will get alibi. Just tell Gonta where to find it. The way this debate is going, this will be difficult to refute. <laughs> what will you do? Without an alibi, we'll all choose you. Gonta, please understand that in order to reveal the truth, you must also participate. But, Gonta not sure where to start. You just have to tell everyone why you couldn't have done it. If you're not the culprit and we all vote for you, then we're dead too. Our lives are riding on your word. You got this. Okay, Gonta will try, for everyone's sake. This debate is getting loud and heated, but if I have focus on everyone's voice, then hopefully we can expose the mastermind. Oh, it's an, is it another one? No, it's a regular one, okay. 
Moving bookcase card reader Rantaro, bloody shot put ball, sliding door. Not culprit. Sliding door. Cause to leave AV room, Gonta must walk through game room where friends are. To even reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. AV room's got more than one entrance though. There should have been a door facing the hallway too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? With that sliding door, you can quickly go in and out of the library. Then he got past the camera somehow and killed Rantaro. Well, that's settled. Let's go home. Is not settled? Going to not culprit! Okay. Could Gonta have gone to the library uh, from the AV room without noticing? Could he really have done it? Gonta's I do kind of wish. Oh, it's up there. I just noticed it. I just noticed AV it. I just noticed it. That's what I was looking for. Gonta okay. Walk through game room where friends are. To even reach hallway. You can take up to the hallway. You can't go to the library. AV room's got more than one entrance, though. There should have been a door facing the hallway, too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? No, that's wrong. It's not possible to use the sliding door. You saying I'm wrong? You got a lot of ass to be contradicting me. Did you mean to say sass? I am. Um, think you left out an <laughs> S. The sliding door always jams. You're only able to open it a crack. The only part of your body that would be able to go through is your arm. And there was no indication of the door being forced. There was dust on the track. In other words, the chance they came out the sliding door is zero. Uh, I see. So I made a mistake. How rare. It's not that rare for you to make a mistake. Your entire existence is a mistake. Damn! They are going back and forth with each other. You vicious little. If Gonta couldn't use the sliding door, then in order to get to the library, he'd have to go through the game room. But I didn't see him at all. See? Gonta tell you he not culprit. No, we cannot confirm that just yet. Huh? My apologies, Gonta. I do not mean to put you on the spot like this, but because I promise to do my best, I will fulfill that responsibility. Uh, are you saying Gonta could still be the culprit? There is the possibility that Gonta killed Rantaro from the AV room. From the AV room? How? Oh, uh -huh. I didn't know that was a possibility. What? Not only could he have killed Rantaro from the AV room, but also... He would not appear in any of the pictures from the cameras placed in the library. Whoa! Perfect! But wait, then how did Gonta kill him? Well, it's obvious to this glamorous girl genius. That may be explained for these dimwits. First, I will explain the layouts of both the AV room and the library. The sliding door in the AV room faces the rear door of the library. Right. Because of this, it is possible for Gonta to have killed Rantara while he was in the AV room. Um, but how though? But Gonta's beefy! Like, there's... How, how, is, how is he getting his hand through there? In order for the murder to take place, the rear door of the library must be opened. Which it was, we know that. Isn't that impossible? The AV room sliding door doesn't open, so you can't get into the hallway. If you cannot enter the hallway, how would you open the rear door to the library? Although you cannot fit your whole body through the sliding door, an arm would suffice. It would be possible if you used a particular item in the AV room. A particular item in the AV room. Wait, what? No, no, okay. 
That seems impossible. Find the first wrong thing. Oh, you lose a whole heart to get something wrong. Oh, crap. Ah. Uh. Ah. You get up. You lose a whole freaking heart. Oh my god. I don't even know what I can click on. But that would would be wide enough or that would be wide and long enough. But it would not be durable enough. There's a far superior alternative in the room, though. I see. I'm thinking along those lines, but Karimi has a point. Kaede, do you remember what caught our attention during the investigation? Everyone's staring. Oh, no. Ah! That's not the button I wanted to hit! Oh, my God. I'm losing so much points that I'm panicking. I got one thing wrong, and now I'm panicking. Oh, shit. Okay. What caught our eye? Oh my god. Spot selections being a pain. I get it. What? Is it the projector screen? That is correct. You can make a long pole if you roll up the screen. It would be possible to reach the library door with it. Oh, uh if you use the rolled up screen to reach the library's rear door, then you can open it. The screen itself is quite heavy, but that would not have been a problem for Gonta. Yeah, no problem for Gonta. Oh my, how honest. But if you open the library door, the camera would take your picture. Uh, actually, the camera wouldn't be triggered just by opening the door. Shuichi and Kaede's pictures were like that as well. The shutter only went off once someone set foot into the room. Okay, so it was possible to open the library door, but where does that get us? Gonta still couldn't have gotten from the AV room to the library. Gonta did not enter the library. He killed Rantara while he was still in the AV room. If Gonta killed Rantara in the library while he was still in the AV room, then... So does that mean Gonta threw the shot football? That would make sense, yeah. Wait! Wait, I say! Why would anyone do something so crazy like throw a... Wait! That's actually not crazy at all! Throwing a shot football is totally normal! Yes. The act of throwing a shot put ball could lead one to use it as a weapon. Even if a person couldn't fit through the space, a shot put ball certainly would. Rentaro's body was across from the AV room sliding door as well. As long as the rear door of the library was open, he would have been able to hit the victim. That's quite the distance, though. And that shot put ball was pretty heavy. Did you forget already? Gonta easily picked up the heavy manhole cover. It would definitely be feasible for him to throw a shot put ball at his target. Right. Yep. A walking talking Roomba can't compare to a mighty beast like Gonta. That Roomba remark is probably not about me. 
as I have a variety of custodial functions. <laughs> well, Gonta, can you throw a shot put ball from that distance? Yes, probably. You're too honest, Gonta. <laughs> You're so cool, Gonta. You could be the ultimate shot putter. Well, I've heard enough. Gonta's the culprit. They wouldn't throw it. Wait, Gonta never hurt anyone. Not even insect. Gonta telling truth. Gentlemen never tell lies. Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I we need to know more. I would like to believe him, but without evidence, we cannot. If everyone is wrong, we will never find the mastermind. I can't let that happen. I need to do my best to guide everyone to the right answer. More non-stop debating? Okay. Awesome. File one, book moving bookcase, receiver on so Shuichi. We agree. Gonta's the culprit! Gonta not culprit! Honest! A typical degenerate male excuse. Rantaro's corpse in the AV room door. Do line up with one another. There are no obstacles in the way. If one opens the back door of the library, one could throw a shot and strike true. No way the average person could make that shot. But with superhuman strength like Gonta's, it's a different story. Right. Afterward, to close the back door to the library, he would have used the World Jump Projector screen again. See? That's all there is to it. Is this what we're going with? No, it doesn't sound right. Everyone's on the wrong track. I need to guide them to the right answer. If I don't, we'll never expose the mastermind. So we agree. Gonta's the culprit. Gonta, not culprit. Honest. A typical degenerate male excuse. Rentaro's corpse in the AV room door. Do line up with one another. There are no obstacles in the world. Oh, I got it! I got the V! What does that do for me now? It would have been impossible for Gonta to have thrown that shot from the AV room. Because there was an obstacle between Rentaro and Gonta. Obstacle? The moving bookcase. When Rantaro was killed, it should have been open. Yup, that's our evidence. The bookcase door was open when he was killed. Which that would have been from the... This. I get it. I wanted to make sure that I was getting the right photos. It's in this picture. Here, look. These two pictures were taken by the camera facing the moving bookcase. These photos were taken moments before Rantaro was killed. Yep. The bookcase door is completely open here, and then it closes automatically. So by the time we entered the library, the door had already closed itself. Yep. Before Rantaro was killed, the bookcase door was open. Even if Gonta did throw the shot, it would have hit the bookcase instead. I see. Well, that pretty much shuts the book on that theory, then. If that's true, then there's no possibility that Gonta is the culprit. What? Why are you making this so complicated? Just be the culprit already. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't think you need to apologize. Yeah, that's right. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. I should be the one to apologize. I am sorry for accusing you, Gonta. It's fine. I got one possibility out of the way. No, Gonta understand. Because we gotta find culprit. Well said. For a degenerate male, you're actually pretty reasonable. <sighs> oh, gosh, Tenko. Ugh, I hate this sentimental crap. I know you do, Monokuma. Why is that? It's nice when everyone gets along like this. But Monokuma doesn't like that. Are you stupid or something? I can't stand people having a good time! <laughs> Daddy's too evil to feel ashamed for being evil. 
So true, Monophane. Could learn a lot from him. Don't mind me. I'm not actually taking notes. I'm placing bets on racehorses. Oh, I'm jonesing for a leaf. I need a raccoon tail to chase my dragon. It's good that Gaunt is in the clear, but don't break out the confetti just yet. Right, Rail or Ryoma. Ryoma, Ryoma, Ryoma. We're out of suspects now. On top of that, we still don't even know how Rantaro died. So we only know what the weapon is? How are we supposed to find the mastermind with that? We know the murder weapon is the shot put ball. But where did the culprit get it? I think it was from the warehouse. I saw track and field equipment there. Then anyone would have been able to obtain it. We need more information. What's wrong, Shuichi? He doesn't have it. Huh? Uh, uh it's nothing. And also the only people that we really know that's been in the warehouse is him and Miyu. Ah! How do we find this darn culprit now? And we already know Miyu's safe. No, please tell me that I'm actually wrong. Lord, please tell me that I'm wrong. Hey, culprit! Quit hiding! Just be a man and fess up already! Oh, no! Ah. We don't even know if they're a guy or not, though, right? I swear! Or if they're even human. Are you referring to me? <coughs> I really hope... Because he'd be the only one passive enough. Don't worry, you guys. We're one step closer to the truth, so don't give up. Because he's one of the ones in my head that is passive enough to do it. The other couple are Himiko and then Kiryu or Kurumi, who both are, like, completely out of the freaking like, woods. Try to remember what happened. We can find more clues left by the mastermind. Uh... Clues? What kind of clues? Like, if Rantaro was deceived by the mastermind and went to the library, maybe somebody saw Rantaro having a suspicious conversation with someone. It would be a good idea to figure out who knew about our trap. Either way, anything you guys remember might be able to help with the case. Yes, yes! But are you sure the culprit is also the mastermind? Huh? Yeah, I think so. Why? Then what Atua just told me about how the culprit entered the library is correct! Yeah... Huh? I didn't hear anything. I hate the fact that what Angie's about to tell us... Angie, you're about to- you're about to frickin' do a thing, aren't you? Oh, that's right. Only I can hear the voice of Atua. Angie, please and I will speak on the Tua's behalf as his prophet. Please tell me you're not going to say what I think you're going to say. If the culprit is the mastermind, they could have entered the library while avoiding the cameras. Yep, they could have. And who left our room and told us not to come with? Oh, no. Are you serious? There's a way to do that? Oh, <laughs> Super serious, brother. Angie, you said exactly what I didn't want you to say, because I didn't want to confront this reality. You're a two. It sounds like a shady weirdo. There's a way for the culprit to enter the library without being caught by the cameras, and only Suichi and I knew about this. Yeah, it is. I should continue explaining on his behalf. Yeah, ha ha ha! Only Atua knows the truth behind this incident! Ah. Uh. So, okay, I should probably explain what my thought process was. Suichi had the receiver, so he knew on him at all times when somebody went in to the room the camera would then picture 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 and then he can go in and go for the kill oh. but the receiver's not on there the was hiding in the oh the 
Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door! So you're saying the culprit was lying in wait there? If that's true, the suspects <coughs> are those who were alone at the time of the incident. The only ones who didn't go to the dining hall or basement are... Kokichi and Kibo and Ryoma, right? I knew the culprit was a male! <laughs> Behold Atua's divine logic! I never had an abated god before. I can tell there's a contradiction, but I don't... No, I... I don't know if Angie's noticed it yet. The culprit was hiding in the library what? the whole time. Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they oh. have hidden? Inside the hidden door. No, that's wrong. Wait a minute, Angie. I don't think it was possible to hide in the hidden door. What? You did? I don't think the hidden door was ever used. No. The dust is still there. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That also means the mastermind did not hide in here. While investigating the mastermind, I placed dust on the card reader. If anyone swiped their card key, the dust would have fallen. We already confirmed during the investigation that there was no dust on the floor. The bookcase hadn't been opened, so I doubt anyone was hiding in there. The fog has lifted. Oh, hi, Ryoma. <laughs> you still got a ways to go. We do. Huh? What, what do you mean? The culprit could have been in the library before the cameras were even set. You won't be able to prove anything with weak reasoning like that. It seems you may have been contradicted. When this sort of thing happens, you'll go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called a rebuttal showdown. What What's a rebuttal showdown? For now, let's explain the controls. In this mode, you will counter the person's uh, claim and argue against it. Move your truth bullets with LS and align with the left stick uh, and align it with what your opponent claims. Perform a regular cut in the direction uh, the blade is pointing by pressing A. Cut with the truth blade by pressing Y. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. In this mode, truth bullets are called truth blades. Use regular cuts on your opponent's words, and when weak spots appear, make sure you hit the truth blade. Of course, you don't have if you don't have the correct truth blade, you will not be able to cut the remark. What is neat? What is neat is is you're able to cut through multiple words at once, and you'll get a time bonus. Two at once gets you two seconds. Three at once. Uh, or three is three. The more you cut, the better. Watch the position of your opponent's claims closely and slice as many as you can. By doing that, you'll be able to skew the debate mood into your advantage. When the mood of the argument is in your favor, the debate will progress. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it'll skew it to their advantage. And you'll lose progress. If the opponent's arguments are even a blade... Or, 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 oh, if... Your, you and your opponent's arguments are even, a blade block will occur. When that happens, you must mash A as fast as you can to push them off. Isn't slicing and dicing opinions with a truth sword of the bee's knees? Truth cylinder, blade select, move blade. A for normal slash. Okay, cool. Not really. You can also do a V agree, so blah, 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 ha, ha, ha. Thank you for your time. Rebuttal showdown. Start. Even if we rule out the hidden door, the library's got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras were placed, they could have been hiding there, you know? They took out Rantaro, then took off. I can't listen to Rama's document. I need to refute it now. Even if we rule out the hidden door, the library's got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras were placed, they could have been hiding there, you know? They took out Rantaro, then took off. But if the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? 
Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. Rejoin everyone and we'd be none the wiser. That's your reasoning? Oh, I got it wrong. Crap. Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. Rejoin everyone and we'd be none the wiser. Ah! We're gonna die! It's gonna happen! Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. Rejoin everyone and we'd be none the wiser. Oh no, there it is. I'll cut your words. We're barely not dying, but we're not dying. <laughs> the culprit met him inside the library? That doesn't seem possible though. Let's hear it then. What's your reason? If you take a look at the three pictures from the camera we placed near the front door. This is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko and then rushed in. This one shows the other four people running in after they heard Tenko scream. True. And finally, everyone else coming in after hearing the body discovery announcement. You can clearly see everyone entering the library in these pictures. It wouldn't make sense if there was someone hiding in the library the whole time. True. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? I guess the one who still has a ways to go is me. Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Shuichi? Oh! Ah, um, yes. He's becoming, he's becoming disassociative. And hopefully we're picking up on that. Yeah, we are. Is, is Suichi okay? He's been really quiet. Is he worried about something? Of course he is. So the real Die. question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. It's quite the mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the cameras? Almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. Totally, Himika. Totally. Your upper half, to be specific. Totally. That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? But both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. No. We already know that's but not the Shuichi case. Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking, then turned invisible. Himiko is really gung-ho about her invisible culprit theory. Um, yeah, no. There's no way someone snuck into the library through the vent. That's right. We have evidence that proves that that would have, or that would have been poss impossible. Ah! Was it the stacked books then? What I was gonna click on originally, anyway? I get it. Yeah, crap. I should have just listened to whatever I said. When I set the cameras, I also stacked some books in front of the vent. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. While we were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Yeah. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. No way. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. If we've ruled out the vent and doors, then how'd the culprits get in and out of the library? They never went into the library. Maybe divine intervention? Gonta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! 
I know how the culprit got in the library. The front door! What? Um, have you been paying attention? The camera would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals. Oh my god. That may... That's how Suichi does... That... So my... That my... My running theory was correct. My running theory was correct. I just needed that. There you go. That's because it's a film camera. So it's not going to go automatically. Huh? Intervals? Yup. And the only other person that knew was Suichi. F word! Ah! No! Why was I actually like bop, 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 bop? <sighs> Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their intervals. Uh, no. So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. Yep. <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty and brains. Why? It's just not fair. Mew, what's this interval you're talking about? Nobody except for Suichi and Mew knew about this. Huh? Oh, now you're asking me. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Which is why he wanted to be in the closest room to the library! Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Why didn't you tell us from the start? <laughs> I told your little beta boy toy after I gave you the remodeled cameras. What? Yep. Sh Shuichi? Yep. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I I guess I forgot to tell you. I casually forgot to tell you the exact weapon tool that I was going to use to commit my murder. How could you forget to tell me? You don't just forget that shit. I didn't think it would affect the plan. I I didn't realize it would matter. Oh! <laughs> you didn't realize it would matter. Yeah. No, you knew it would matter. I guess I just forgot to mention it. I'm really sorry. It's hard, because he's, like, so lovable. He's like, I'm sorry, like, this is the case. And, like, I'm being, like, super shy and anxious and, like, everything. And, like, I, I want to forgive the man. But I know what the man did, and I'm like, crap. And I kind of, like, again, caught on to it from the beginning, which makes it even harder. <laughs> I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. Thank you, Keo. This is why you're the other person I've actually been spending time with in this video game. Because, like, again, like, Keo and I are, like, on a wavelength. I don't know what it is. Like, Keo doesn't seem like the person I'd be interacting with, but here Keo is, being the person I interact with. Yeah, that's pretty much a lie. Yeah, Kokichi, I'm with that. N no, it's not a lie. He probably just forgot. No, he didn't, Kayade. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget, you know? No, he didn't. Yeah. No, he didn't. Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. <laughs> Thank you, Ryoma. I appreciate Each you. interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kai Idiot and Fuichi placed go off when they pick up movement. From there, it takes 30 seconds for the film to auto-roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, anyone could have entered the library without their photo being taken? Yep. <clears throat> that may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. It's definitely enough time. You just gotta move at lightning speed. I see, I see. Then there's no doubt the culprit made use of the camera's intervals. That means the culprit was Mew all along, since she knew about the intervals. No, it's not. Don't be an asshole. I have an alibi. Remember the dining hall? It's Shuichi. Oh, yeah. Well, 
Who else knew about the intervals? Hmm. Now, who was it again? Pick the person! Oh, good. <laughs> well, then, does this mean that he is the culprit we have been seeking? Yeah. Shuichi. Hey, what gives, Shuichi? Shuichi would never do that. Right, Shuichi? I, no, it's totally him! You had better speak soon. Your silence only damns you further. What? What kind of breakdown are we fucking getting? That's up already. Did you kill Rantai? I I wish you could see like my full body right now. I am holding my freaking arm in place, grasping it, so that way I don't like over like freak out. But I am like it is on my wrist. Like you guys can see it because I pulled it up. It is literally I am like holding on for what is dear life for this character that I like actually like but new things were gonna happen because Danganronpa does this to people. Ah! Hey, Shuichi, what's gotten into you? I noticed you're acting different from the beginning after this trial. I hate that I picked up on that. Emotional oh, intelligence is such a bitch. <laughs> oh man, this is getting good. Entertain me, peasants. No way Suichi can be the culprit. Or it can't be the culprit. There's definitely wrong. There's no way. I refuse to believe Suichi is the culprit. That's definitely not possible. Oh no, it's an ambition! No! No! You guys can... <laughs> I have a total reset, basically, before the next freaking section! Well, on that note... In the next episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, we will be tackling the second half of this trial. Probably seeing the breakdown of Suichi, and I am nervous. Uh, I don't need S characters to die. I really, 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 and did I mention really? Hope that we're going to get blindsided. Um, let's uh, do trial two case two, please. But uh, I highly doubt that. This, oh no. Uh, we'll see you guys. See you guys in the next one.